everyone, it's John here. And in today's video, we're gonna take a look at two functions that are gonna be essential when working with either the group by or pivot by functions. Let's take a look. So with the group by or pivot by functions, we can quickly summarize data with a formula. So in its simplest form, the group by function allows us to group data based on a column. So for example, we might want to group this data by category, and then it allows us to summarize another column. So for example, we could summarize the amount column, and then it also allows us to choose how we want to summarize those values. So we have a list of functions here that we can quickly use, as well as we can build our own custom calculations with the lambda function but let's just quickly sum these values. And when we press enter, you can see we've got a summary of our categories, and then we're summing the amount values. Now, if we want to group by or summarize by multiple fields, we can do that as well. So let's just replace this single column here with both the category and subcategory field. And if we enter that, you can see that we get a summary based on the category and subcategory field, and then we are still summing our amount field here. But what happens if we want to use the group by or pivot by functions with columns that are not side by side? So this is where we're gonna to need to use the hstack function, and that's gonna allow us to join multiple columns into a single range. So let's just check that out. So here we can use the hstack function and then we can give it any number of ranges. In this case, we're gonna give it the category column and let's try the item column. And you can see that we just get those as a single range. And so we can use that inside of the group by function. So let's just replace that. And here we're gonna use an hstack function and then summarize by both the category and the item column. Close our age stack function. And when we press enter, now we've got a summary by category and item. And then we're still taking the sum of our amount column here. So thanks to the age stack function, we're able to group by multiple columns when they're not side by side. So this is gonna help us with non-adjacent columns as well as we can use this to change the order of grouping. So we could have the item column first, for example. And then after that, we could group by the category column. And there we go, we've now got a summary by item and then by category. Next up, let's take a look at how we can summarize multiple columns with the group by or pivot by functions. So in this example, let's group by our category field. And then here again, we can select multiple columns if they're adjacent as the values we wanna summarize. And then we can summarize them with any of our functions. Let's pick the sum function, even though maybe it doesn't make sense to sum up our unit price here. And when we press enter, we've got our unit price field summed and our amount field summed as well. Now we can use the hstack function again here to maybe instead sum the quantity column and the amount column. And this way we can summarize columns that are not adjacent. So let's edit this formula and try that out. So we're gonna use hstack and here we can select our quantity field and our amount field and press enter. And now we get a sum of our quantity and a sum of our amount. Again, the hstack function is gonna be useful as well if we want to change the order that these are summarized in. So let's display our sum of amount first. 
and then display our sum of quantity. And there we go, we've got our sum of amount first and our sum of quantity. Next up, let's take a look at how we can use multiple summary types in the same group by or pivot by function. So in this example, we're summarizing or summing our quantity and our amount fields. So we're using the hstack function for multiple value fields. But we can also use the hstack function to return multiple types of summarizations. So here, instead of sum, what we can do is, for example, maybe we want to sum our quantity, but we want to get the average amount. Then we can use hstack for that. So here we're going to list our sum first in the hstack function as we want to use the sum with our quantity field, which is listed first here. And then we're going to list our average function second in the hstack as we want to take the average of our amount field, which is listed second here. And let's close our group by function and press enter. And now we have a summary where we're taking the sum of our count and we're taking the average of our amount field. Now, in this case, we've got our columns listed across like this. So we've got a column for the sum and a column for the average. But it turns out that if we use the vstack function, let's just copy and paste this down here, then we can display these down the rows instead. So here, instead of hstack, we can try vstack, which is a vertical stacking. And when we press enter, you can see that we get our sum and average listed down the rows. And so here we've got our sum of quantity and we've got our average amount. And then again, we've got our sum of quantity and average amount. Now to use our hstack or vstack in the function argument of our group by or pivot by function, we don't actually need to have multiple value columns here. So we can perform multiple summaries on a single column. So for example, let's just summarize our amount column. But maybe we want to display a count and a sum and an average, then we can do that. Let's press enter. And now we've got a count, a sum, and an average based on our amount column. And the same thing is going to work with our vstack function. So here, let's just summarize our amount column. And we'll do a count, a sum, and an average inside our vstack. And when we press enter, now we've got those three summarization types based on our amount column. So there you go. That's the hstack and vstack functions. And these are going to be essential functions for working with group by or pivot by. Now, in all these examples, we use the group by function, but they're going to work the exact same with the pivot by function. So hstack and vstack are going to be essential functions if you're using either group by and pivot by. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. And we'll see you in the next video.